Hello and welcome. This is an English lesson from the fourth grade of high school. The topic of the lesson is Heroes in Context and my name is Lana Kovic. In today's lesson, you will analyze a longer text, you will write a short story with the vocabulary from the text, and you will prepare a two minute long speech on the topic of heroes. For today's lesson, you will need something to write with, a notebook, a device with internet access, and don't forget you can pause and replay the video anytime you want. Let's start. Whenever you see a pencil in the right hand corner of the slide, it means you will have to write something down. Now, I would like you to open your notebooks and write down the answers to the following questions. How would you define a hero? Can you give some examples? What is the female hero called? What are the adjective and adverb forms of the word hero? And what is the antonym of a hero? You may have answered something like this. A hero is a person who, in the opinion of others, has special achievements, abilities or personal qualities and is regarded as a role model or ideal. Some examples of real life heroes are your parents, your siblings, your friends, or some celebrities. And some superheroes are Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, etc. A female hero is called a heroine. An adjective form of the word hero is heroic, and an adverb is heroically. An antonym of a hero would be a villain or a coward. You're going to watch a short video. You should either scan the QR code or copy and paste the link into your browser. After watching it, I would like you to answer the following questions and write the answers down into your notebooks. The questions are, what powers do the heroes from the video have? Which of them would you like to have and why? Have you watched the TV show and did you like it? Why or why not? And would you want to watch it after seeing the trailer? Why or why not? Here are some possible answers. First superpower is the ability to fly. Second one is being indestructible. The third one is having a double personality. The next one is being able to foresee the future. And the last one, to be able to control objects with their mind. I would like to be able to fly because in that way I would avoid the traffic jam on my way to work. And I would like to be able to foresee the future so I could change some unfortunate incidents. I haven't seen the show because I don't like science fiction, but I would like to see it because it seems fun and people have recommended it. Now is the time to do some reading. You should either scan the QR code or copy and paste the link into your browser to open the text. After you have opened it, you should scan it and answer the question. According to the author, what is the greatest power? According to the author, the greatest power is incorruptibility, and everyone has the potential to be a hero because everyone has the power to be incorruptible. Now, read the text again and fill in the gaps with the missing sentences below the text. There is one sentence you do not need. Here is the key. The first missing sentence is sentence C because it starts with the phrase this question which refers to the question in the previous sentence. The second one is A, because it introduces the opposite idea of using powers for good to using powers as revenge. The third missing sentence is sentence E, because in two previous sentences, the author mentions power corrupting people and the missing sentence states the same but for absolute power corrupting absolutely. The fourth missing sentence is sentence B because it says, consider how this man lived. And the following sentence 
describes how he lived. The fifth one is sentence G. The previous sentence says he could have had and he could have ruled and sentence G starts with instead and describes how he actually lived. And the last one is sentence D because it states all the things people can't and won't ever do only to say what we can and will do to be heroes. Time to play. I would like you to do the crossword, but make sure you have the text from the previous slide open so you can find the answers in it. Either scan the QR code or copy and paste the link into your browser. Good luck! Now when you have analyzed the text, and I'm sure you've done it successfully, it's time to do some vocabulary. I would like you to scan the QR code or copy and paste the link into your browser and do the vocabulary task. Match the words with their definitions. Make sure you check the correct answers at the end of the task. There's that little pencil in the right hand corner of the slide again, which means it's time to do a writing activity. I would like you to choose at least five new words from the text and use them in a short story related to the topic of heroes. Here is an example. My dad wasn't just an everyman. He was a mild-mannered policeman with a lot of charisma. A lot of people tried to bribe him, but he immediately rebuffed them because he was completely incorruptible. He was my hero. That is why after some contemplation, I decided to become a policeman too. The job has surpassed all of my expectations, and I hope once I'll be someone's hero as well. You should write your short story into Padlet and send it to your teacher. Okay, you should now open the link and do the exercise. Either copy and paste the link into your browser or scan the QR code. In the exercise, you'll have to read five short paragraphs on the qualities of heroes and match each example below the text from A to E with the quality of a hero they portray from 1 to 5. Then fill in the gaps with one word only. Here is the link to the key, which will take you to the original article where you can check your answers. Hope you smashed it! We've come to the last activity of today's lesson. I would like you to answer the following questions and prepare a two minute long speech. You should definitely refer back to the answers you have written down into your notebooks and incorporate them in the speech. After you have done it, you should recall yourself in Vocaroo and send it to your teacher. The questions are, do you believe in heroes? Explain. What makes someone a hero? What do you think are the top five qualities of a hero? Are there different types of heroes and what are they? Have you ever acted heroically? If yes, when? Do you have a hero? Who is your hero and why? Good luck! One last thing for those who want to know more. Do you know that there is a position or asana in yoga called hero? Hero pose is a seated yoga pose that relieves backache, improves circulation to your feet, stretches the thighs and ankles, and improves posture. It is one of the most ancient poses used for meditation and breathing exercises called pranayama. Its Sanskrit name, virasana, comes from vira, meaning hero, and asana meaning pose. If you want to learn more and see the pose, you should follow the following link. We've come to the end of the lesson. Let's check if you have done all the activities and how well you can do them. I can analyze the text on heroes. I can use new vocabulary in the new context. I can talk about heroes using hero-related vocabulary. If you want to watch more videos on heroes, 
or read more from the authors of the texts in the lesson, you should follow the links below. And that's it for today. Hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have. See you next time!